Hi there. I'm Michael Knight, and I am the creator, curator, and producer of Cracking Open a Cold One. Cracking Open a Cold One is a comedic series dedicated to getting writers and performers working without wasting time. Every two weeks, we take suggestions from you on social media for um, ingredients to be mixed in. And overnight, writers create a brand new piece based on those suggestions. And the same night, we have performers perform the piece cold and uh, buzz because, well... We crack open a cold one, and we crack open a cold one. Mm. Nice. If you'd like to be involved, head to newgentheatrical.org and sign up as a writer, actor, singer, or songwriter. Now, tonight's piece was written by the incomparable Gretchen Suarez Pina. Now, sadly, she couldn't be with us tonight, so you unfortunately get this asshole instead. But don't worry, I'm not sticking around. Tonight's piece stars Jason Blackwater, Crystal Kennedy, Xander Kringer, Kelly Morrow, and Devin Luno. Now, Gretchen had to use the uh, the word bar four times. She had to use the sentence, why do you have a Care Bear on your nightstand? And she had to use a, a fake space fact, which was scientists have recently discovered that what they call the tangent isosceles effect proves definitively that all black holes lead to a darker, shittier version of our universe. Now, sit back, relax, have a drink, please, for fuck's sake. Mm. And enjoy Gretchen Suarez Pena's new play, Olympics in Space. So, why do you have a Care Bear on your nightstand? Oh, it reminds me of our root as a society. You know, it really takes me to an ancient place in our human history. Plus, I really love having something to hold at night. <laughs> Oh, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we're back. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the 2240 Olympics in space. And what a beautiful space Olympics it is. Wouldn't you say so, Maybelline? <laughs> it's quite a lovely view. The loveliest. <laughs> Guys. So our next event is the high jump. Let's take it to our correspondent out in the field, Petra Cox. Petra, how are things looking out there today? Well, let's just say that the bar has been set high for this year's events. The current Outer World record holder, Kitty Carmichael, hailing from the great country of California, is going to have to keep her anti-gravity shoes on tight because coming in hot is Hitterman Gruber from Austria, who experts believe is really a contender. Gruber cleared the bar at a breathtaking five meters in the pre- Guys, guys, can we focus here? <clears throat> um, sorry, Petra, you were saying about the bar. What, uh, did someone say bar? <laughs> you know, I could uh, really use a stiff drink. Yes, <laughs> well, the high jump this year is going to see some stiff competition. Well, I'd sure like things stiff. And climactic. Oh. Sweet crystal mess. Thank you, Petra, <laughs> for a soaring report. <laughs> we'll check back in with you after we check in with our uh, other correspondent, Terry Gull. Uh, Terry Gully, uh, uh, are you with us? Taryn? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Taryn, so great for you to join us. Tell us, how is the Javelin event looking? So exciting that this year our Olympic scientists were able to replicate a small wormhole just for the event. Uh, 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 what kind of hole was that? A, a wormhole, <laughs> Mastimo. It, oh. It's kind of <clears throat> like a black hole. Dark and deep, but smaller. And whereas things can get lost in a black hole, things going through a wormhole can come out the other end. Fascinating. <laughs> I love holes. Especially things going in them, especially a long, hard spear. <laughs> you are incorrigible. <laughs> Taryn, <clears throat> tell us where the wormholes were developed and how the competition will be judged. Uh, right. Um... So I'm standing here about oh, uh, a couple of hundred meters from where the competition will take place. And um, the situation is the other side of the wormhole hasn't been found yet. It's a bit unstable, see, and it seems to be appearing anywhere within the vicinity of the event. 
at irregular intervals. It's all a bit unsettling, to be honest, because it could appear right where I'm standing. You know, perhaps Petra will be better suited for this event. Nonsense! You are the man for the job. Tell us, is Brazil's bossa nova, how does he appear to be faring? You know, do you think they will hold the record for the outer world? It will be hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, really, uh. I, I don't think this is such a great idea for me to be here. Did you hear that recently wormholes can turn quickly into black holes? This is all very dangerous. Oh, fascinating, Taryn. Tell us more. Our resident newscaster, Taryn Gully, everyone. No, seriously. Scientists have recently discovered what they call the tangent isosceles effect, which proves definitively that all black holes lead to a darker, shittier version of our universe. I just don't see how throwing these javelins into these holes is going to be good for anyone. Oh, I couldn't agree more, Taryn. Holes should be respected. It's always best to stay on the outer rim. I mean, well, that's all the time we have for our uh, javelins competition <laughs> spot. <laughs> Let's go to Petra, who's now at the start of the uh, dressage competition. <laughs> oh, I love dressage. And this year, instead of having the event in the space station's anti-gravity chamber, it is being held right on the moon. Oh, your namesake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so delightful. Petra, Petra, are you with us? Thank you, Moon. Yes, this Olympic season, the equestrian ballet will take place on the mysterious dark side of the moon. Ooh, I love Moon's dark side. Massimo, <laughs> focus for fuck's sake. The solar system is watching. <clears throat> Petra, what would you say are the advantages of the moon hosting the dressage event? Great question, Maybelline. It appears that the horses prefer the dust of the moon to the simulated dust on the space station. Uh, delightful. And is, you know, Romney still a crowd favorite? After multiple generations of precise breeding, it's hard to compete with a Romney horse. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this report, Petra. That's why I'm out here. To report. Do my job. Not do my coworkers. <laughs> and now a word our sponsors, Maybelline. Yes. <clears throat> our sponsor for these Olympic Games is NASA Adventure Parks. Since 2153, NASA has been a fantastic attraction for families throughout the world. NASA now has theme parks all over the world. <laughs> Space fun for all. And guess what? What's that, Maybelline? NASA plans to open their first outer world theme park on Mars for the year 2245. Do you hear that, <laughs> Martian kids? NASA is coming for you. Again. Again? Yeah, they, they were the first. Really? It wasn't Muskie? I'm pretty sure it was NASA. It's NASA. <laughs> now, back to the Olympics. Thank you for keeping us on track, Maybelline. Are you sure? We sure have been getting off. Mm. You can always count on me to get you off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> on track. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> well, well, let's check in with Taryn. Uh, it's just about time for the archery events. Fun fact, this year the archery, trap shooting, and javelin events will all take place near the wormholes. All the projectiles in the holes. Thrilling. Mm. <laughs> Taryn, tell us, how is the archery event looking? Taryn? Help! Help! Can you hear me? Can uh, Taren, anyone Taren. hear me? Taren, yes, we can hear you. Are, are, are you... How, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, how's the <laughs> archery look? Archery? Who the hell gives a fuck about archery? Someone help me! I've fallen in a wormhole! And I can't get out! Is that how mm. wormholes work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never been in a hole I couldn't pull out of. 
Um, I have just received notice that Terran has indeed fallen into a wormhole, but he has been tracked, and it appears that he's emerged on the other side of it. <laughs> Stuck in a nearby asteroid. Perfect. <laughs> Thank God for those tracking ships who get at birth vaccinations. <laughs> yeah, a lifesaver. Oh. Do you hear that, Terry? Nothing to fear. You're not in a wormhole. You're in an asteroid. <laughs> an asteroid. Uh. Asteroid. Asteroid. I hate asteroids. I hate space. God, I hate space. Why did I take this fucking job? I hate sp Well, looks like they cut off the feed. <laughs> it's just about time for our commercial break. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more of the 2240 Olympics in space. <laughs> <laughs> Moon, baby, you're, you're killing us. Uh, wh which one of us are you going to take to the Olympics closing ceremony? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, you can't keep playing us like this. Oh, sweethearts. I thought you knew I'm Polly. I want both of you that night. The more the merrier. There's plenty of room. I mean, it is space after all. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, it's like space. I'm down. I'm gonna need to dance. <laughs> yeah. Sex thing. 